they generally agree to do at least 45 minutes of questions. I'm sorry, just kidding. 10 minutes. So we're going to do uh, one question each, and then any other questions that we got after the Turn your fire away. Hey, guys. I'm, I'm just wondering, just uh, in this series, just after that first game, did anything particularly turn, or were they became individual, and it just came down to the last few minutes and and uh, you want it? Yeah. I mean, you watched it, so what do you think? You know, like I feel like we were in every single game. I feel like at at one point in every game, um, we had an error, and that led to multiple errors, and they converted on it. I think that you know this series was incredibly tough for both sides and this isn't how we wanted to to finish given that i mean obviously it was disappointing um sad uh you know little laughs but i think for us you know uh you know, this, we played with two for so long, you know, it's like our last, we really like about the last three since, you know, yeah. coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's obviously uh, not how we wanted to finish, um, you know, for her and everything like that. But I mean, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's unfortunate, but, you know, it uh, it is what it is. I think people have mentioned uh, a few times when we talked to, you know, after games and series that it would be make more good TV each game there's a haymaker after haymaker, a great performance after great performance from you all from, from them. When you're in it, do, does it feel like you're a part of this moment that they in the in the future or something like that? It's, you know, when you come to the best playoff series, does it you feel that when you're in it? I mean, I think if you look at the talent that's on the court, um, and just understanding the ability for basically every single player on the court to make a play. Um, you know, you just, you're ready for anything because anything is going to happen. And, and that's how we felt, um, you know, until the end there, we, we had an opportunity to, the door wasn't completely closed, but, you know, with six seconds, no timeouts, it's, it's hard to make up five points. Um, but it's just a, a credit to the series and, um, really proud of of our group and what we've accomplished uh not not the ending we wanted but we we left it out in the court you know for both of you you just talked about it not how you wanted to finish this season but how special was that you guys wanted to win two championships with two rings i mean super special mm -hmm. i mean even just being in a locker room with sue mm -hmm. um like i i said before uh i've been pretty spoiled and blessed to come into the league and have her be my point guard, my captain, my leader. Um, she's helped, like, raised us, basically, mm -hmm. in, the, in this league and has always had our back. So, um, you know, there's never be another Sue Bird, and we understand that um, off the court, on the court. You know, we've had some special times, all three of us together, been through a lot, um, seen a lot, grew, grew a lot. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we've been very, very fortunate to play with a generational player like Sue. Either one of you can go. It's, this is not the end of the world right now. Not only how satisfying is the word, but just the fact that you all gave it everything you had in a tough, competitive series with all the great players you had. Um, I feel like <clears throat> tonight, you know, we, we definitely left it all out on the court. I think that because this is a series, you can't help but look back on, on certain games, game two, game three, where we had um, miscues. You know, we had opportunities and, and we didn't convert on them. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Jewel and I texted before the game and we wanted to just make sure that we, we left it all out on the court. Like, we did everything we possibly could. Um, and it's – as sad as it is that we're we're not like having the ability to compete for a championship, I think what's more devastating is I'm going to speak for both of us is just the fact that we're no longer gonna be on the court with Sue. 
we're not going to see her in practice. We're not going to play with her in games. Um, so I think that's that's what hurts the most is is just having that come to to a reality really really quickly. Um, and that's the way that's the way sports go, and that's the way things go. But like Joe said, it's it's been an honor to be able to share the court with her, and knowing that not many people get to. Usually people only know the super that they play against or the super that they see from afar. And we know her from um, up close as a mentor, as a teammate, as a friend. Um, and just know that she'll be she'll be always in our corner no matter what. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I think that you know, with this team, we we had a an up and down season. You know, we had some instability, instability, if you will. Um, the fact that you know lineups changed, different things, getting Tina, uh, but the fact that we were able to really gel so quickly and create chemistry and create trust. I think the biggest thing is the trust factor. Um, just knowing that you know we're all going after the same goal and and trying to do whatever we can to do that. I think that, you know, there's there's moments where if you look at everybody on this roster, everyone had growth in, in one way or another, whether that's like actual ability or what whether that's uh, making an impact off the court when they're not actually in the game. Um, yeah, and that's what that's what makes it really tough is just knowing that this group is not going to be together again. You talked about not being in the same court, not being together again with Sue. Um, you also mentioned her mentorship. Can you just share what that's been like for you both throughout the years and how amazing has it been to be on a team with someone who um, has really been such a face and vocal leader in the WNBA as a whole, just on that team you both? I mean, it's been a lot. Uh, when you come into the league, you don't always get great veterans. Um, you don't always get a point guard who – um, isn't about herself. She really wants to help you. Um, you know, I came into the league. I was one of the youngest people in the league. I didn't know anything. And not only did she help me understand how to curl a screen, but she showed me like postmates and like all the stuff, you know, I mean, she like literally helped me, um, more than just, you know, Oh, it's over there. Like she literally went to the store with me and things like that. So, um, from day one, she's always been willing to help us. Um, she's always been in our ears and that's something that, uh, we can never take for granted. You know, I'm forever grateful for everything she's done for me. I mean, I, I wouldn't be the player. Um, I don't think we would be the player that we, we are right now without her. Um, so it, it's it's hard um, knowing that we won't have that on the court always. Uh, um, her texting us and the guys, like, yeah. you know, little things like that, that, you know, during the season you you may, you know, take for granted. But, um, you know, we've been very, very blessed to, to be with Sue and, um, see what she's done off the court as well. Using her voice um, and encouraging us to do the same. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's definitely sad knowing that we're we're not gonna to have her around uh, to help us like that. Um, obviously, she's she's you know a one phone call away, but um, it's not it's not gonna be the same. Oh, question for Zoom. Chris, go ahead, Kristen. Hello, ladies. Hope you're doing well. First of all, Stewie. How different would be the game without Sue on the floor and in the, in the locker room? And what would you like to carry from your team up with her? Um, <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> to not have Sue on the court or in the locker room, things like that, uh, it would be completely different. She she has an impact and, and her, her fingerprints are all over every single player on this roster, every single person in this franchise um, and her ability to just continue to bring people confidence to, you know, make sure that we, we come together, we gel together, her IQ, um, the fact that Jewel was talking about, you know, just, just her ability to be herself gave us the ability to be ourselves. Um, and yeah, I mean, we we owe a lot to Sue and, and um, just really appreciate her for everything that she's done. And the last question will go to Jackie Powell. Jackie, go ahead. 
Hi, I just wanted to get from both of you what it meant to play alongside Brian January. Um, she's also someone who this was her her last hurrah. Um, you know, what did that mean to the two of you? And and what's something about her game and how she plays and who she is that you're going to take with you throughout the rest of your careers? It's definitely for me personally. Playing against her was like hell. Um, I absolutely hated it, but in a lot of ways, it made me better. Um, and I told her that when she got here. And um, I mean, she's a, such an amazing person. I don't think people understand how amazing she really is. She came here and instantly was just full of light and energy and wanted to learn and wanted to help. Um, she gave everything she had every single, every single day. Uh, she never took a day off doing all the extra stuff. Um, but like I said, her her personality, who she is, it's, it's amazing. And um I'm, I'm blessed to have known her, to become friends with her, get to know her family. Um, you know, she's still trying to teach me how to be a ninja, which I, I can't wait for that. But uh, she's amazing. And I, I think, uh, you know, she probably didn't get enough attention this year um, from you guys, from the media, um, what she's done, what she has done for this league. Because um, she she deserves it. She was, she just deserves a lot more uh, love uh, than what she got. But um, she's she's amazing. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Oh, if you want to talk about Bree. I mean, I can. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> let, let me. Uh, uh, no, I think just going off of what Joe said, Bree is is literally the ultimate pro. You know, whenever her number is called, she's ready. And and her tenacity and fight, um, the way she is on the defensive end is is motivating for us and for the rest of the team to kind of uh, follow her lead and learn from her, like Joe said. Um, she's someone that you know has been around the game a lot and and has a uh, an IQ and an awareness of you know when to say something to someone how to to help them um, how to help players you know if we're we're going through something um, and she's she's just a leader and I think you know when I think back to free agency and it was you know we had the opportunity to to go after um, Bree it was like hell yeah because we don't want to play against her i'm like yeah. it's just it's, she's tough yeah. um and you know jewel 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 said it perfectly you know we've been very fortunate to to have two amazing basketball players uh finish their 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 careers on our team and and for us you know that's that's more than anybody is is usually getting and the fact that we're able to learn so much for them from them we want to just continue to uh, carry the torch of the way that they played and and that's really it is you know they played selfless basketball always trying to be better ultimate competitor um and that's what we'll continue to continue to do Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.